Then Bloomberg comes out today and says uh, Americans are falling behind on car payments at a higher rate than any time, three times as bad as 2009, well, I the wonder last why. Great Recession. I wonder why, Dave. Because people are taking these notes. It says there's a growing cohort of Americans facing auto repossessions. This is an ominous sign for the U.S. economy. During the pandemic, a surge in u- used car prices forced yes, buyers they had a gun. to take out bigger loans. And that right there forced yep you were forced that's the word you didn't have a choice well here's the thing on that that i mean it you had to have a seventy four thousand dollar raptor and so you were forced and that's what i saw dave if you look at the comments on that post that is what people are saying that, like well what's our choice victim. what your, was our choice your Jade? choice is don't be stupid that's your choice that's your choice don't be stupid try not being stupid that's a good choice and, and then and then the the other side of it the other side of reality, like you said, the people who chose to go against the grain are saying, hey, you know, I just bought a car in cash that I could afford. It's getting me from point A to point B. And when the right time comes, I upgrade. So there, there is a cohort of Americans who do have the right idea, Dave. There's, a, there's some smart people. There are some people. And there's some stupid people. Yeah. There's a lot of stupid people, Dave. 85% of Americans have car notes. Eight, and of those 85% of Americans... 15% of them have a car note of $1,000 or more. It's just hard to wrap up. 1000 I just can't even get my head around that. So here's the thing. If you put that, as Jade did, in a calculator and talked about it last week in that piece that went viral, if you invest a car payment for just a couple of decades, you will have over a million dollars. You'll have $5 Thank million you, dollars if you do it for three decades. Thank you. And so I don't have the money saved for my kids' college. It's because you're stupid. And you put all your money in a car payment. That's why you got no money. You were stupid. And can you talk to the people, Dave? Because I, I tried did. to tell them. I, I tried to tell them. I said, I said the same thing you said. And do you know what they said to me? Where are you getting a 10% rate of return? Who's going to invest their money over 30 years, Jade? And do you want to know what the answer is? Millionaires. 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 That's Millionaires. how people make their money. If you're Millionaires. listening and you don't understand you what this that. Is. This is not a car problem. This is a YOLO problem. Yes. You only live once. Oh, you sweet little child. Listen, adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Bingo. Very few people who are successful are whiners. They don't walk around with a big V on their forehead that says victim. I'm so, I can't get a car. I want a car that's safe. Oh, shut up. They roll up their sleeves and they work. Seriously. There's people here who roll up their sleeves and work. There are actual people in the world who will set aside a portion of their income for 20, 30 years and invest it into their 401k, into their IRA, and they become millionaires. That's what we call them, millionaires. We hear them every day on the air. So for all of those people- and they weren't forced to do that. They weren't forced. But for all of these folks out here yakety yakking, talking yak talk about, oh, you can't get a 10% rate of return. Where Here's what I kept hearing. What stocks give you an annual rate of 10% return? The stock market has <laughs> averaged 11.8% since Thank it you, began. Dave. Hello. And if Dave Look at is the saying S&P it, 500. That's the average on it since it began, 11.8. That's the average. For, for 80 years, you dumb butt. This is not hard. We're sitting here telling you, you got Dave Ramsey who's got more money than anybody you know. And then Forbes magazine tells us the number one payment keeping people broke is their car note. It's not just us. So if you want to think it's just oh, it's just Ramsey Solutions, they're the only one. They're the only folks out here saying this. That is not the case. The case is eighty-five percent of people have car and notes. Here's the thing: sixty-seven percent of people are living if paycheck you'll to paycheck. Quit whining and work. What a concept! Then what you'll have is is the ability to sacrifice to win. See, adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Here's the thing: so when I went broke, we lost everything. Mm. We had one car with a payment on it. Re, I, I reaffirmed it out of bankruptcy. And I'm paying my payment, my payment, my payment, my payment, my payment. And my wife would have left, but we only had one car. And so, I mean, we were, we were, we were mad. We were hurt. We were wounded, whining like some of you people are. And a guy loaned me a car because I refused to, I, I, that's it. I'm not borrowing any more money. He loaned me. A 1978 Cadillac with 478,000 mm-hmm. actual miles on it. The predominant color on it was Bondo. 
the vinyl roof was torn loose across the front, so when you drove it, it filled up with air. It looked like a parachute. I'm driving a Bondo buggy with a parachute on top. Now, you know what I was driving before that, before I went broke? A Jaguar. I went from Jaguar to parachute Bondo buggy. Because you know what happens when you go broke? You don't care what other people you think anymore. You don't care. I lost my need to impress your butt at a stoplight. And so I go into a nice neighborhood in that car. The cops are following me. think mm-hmm. I'm there to rob somebody. And so I got profiled based on my car. Can you imagine that? I can. And so, uh, you know, so I, I'm, I drove like no one else. And I saved up and I paid cash for a $1,000 car, which is an incredible upgrade. Yep. And gave my buddy his blessing back that he had loaned me. And then we move on to the next one, right? Yeah. And we save up and we buy a $3,000 car. And we save up and we buy a $10,000 car. You know I drove like no one else. So now I drive anything I freaking want. Come Shut on, up, Dave. you whiner. Come on, Dave. Seriously. Y'all need to know what it feels like to work. I'm, and stop your whining. It's not becoming. The wussification of America, the things you think you have to have to survive, is sickening. It's sickening. For a short period of time, pay a price to win. Mm. No one wins without paying a price. The the, the repo rate on you idiots right now is three times what it was in 2009 in the Great Recession. It's the worst repo rate we've seen in 30 years. Stop it!